Tonight we've got an update on a story we brought you from Peach County where a property owner is accusing the chief tax assessor of unfairly raising property taxes on low income tenants. The property owner says it's a racial issue. Now both parties are heading to court to get the issue straightened out. 41 NBC's Taylor Terrell spoke with the managing director of a tax firm who believes it's crucial to lower taxes before the owner goes bankrupt. It's no secret to the residents of 103 Books Boulevard that the overall upkeep of their apartment complex is at a standstill. It's because the owner, Marilyn McDowell, is running out of money and can't afford the property taxes. I spoke to Craig Cardella with Property Tax Eagle, who works closely with McDowell, and he believes the upcoming investigation and court appeal will explain everything. One photo after another. These images were sent to us to show the condition of the 10 acres Marilyn McDowell owns in Fort Valley, but says she can't keep up because taxes for her are sky high. At this point, the property uh, is uh, being appealed for a, a reduction in property taxes, but at the same time, the Federal Department of Housing and Urban Development has an ongoing investigation of the uh, alleged uh, racial discrimination caused by the unfair tax assessment uh, made by the Peach County Board of Assessors. Craig Cardella works closely with McDowell and wants to help her and the residents of Phase 3, Phase 4, and West Side Apartments. Because earlier this year, McDowell was paying so much in taxes, she needed a second opinion before bankruptcy became the next step. The biggest problem we have, though, is the percentage of the rent that's paid in taxes by the tenants is just incredibly high compared to any other place in the state of Georgia that we were. State Representative Sanford Bishop stepped in and wrote a letter to HUD Secretary Sean Donovan stating the owner's findings that if the tax appraiser does not lower the taxes, it's possible the sheriff will sell the property to collect back taxes. At this time, both McDowell and Cardella say they want answers. They want to know why are more than 200 residents putting up two-thirds more in property taxes and how they can put the pieces of the puzzle together before everyone ends up on the street. Compared to the average fair market value for taxes on apartments in Georgia, residents of Westside Apartments pay 14 percent versus the average 6 percent. And if the taxes are lowered, then the property then becomes viable and the tenants don't have to fear losing their homes. But if the property values are not reset and these taxes are levied, these properties will close. And that's what everyone here is afraid of. I reached out to Dennis Lee, the chief appraiser, who says he'd rather wait to the appeal hearing before he speaks out on this issue. The hearing will be this upcoming Monday, January 6th at 11 a.m. at the Peach County Courthouse. There, both parties will provide their case and evidence, and a third-party tax appraiser will give his opinion and his input on the findings before the decision is reached.